Okay, so the next section that we're going to have a look at is looking really specifically now at the exam paper and the command words within the exam paper. So I'm sure you'll, you'll have had a look through the exam papers, you'll be familiar with the exam papers and just beginning with the, the state uh, command. So in these particular questions, uh, candidates are asked to consider two distinct terms usually. So if you have a hunt through and dig around, you'll see that um, the, the state questions ask them to identify or distinguish between two distinct terms such as price and worth, or alternatively, they might be asked to identify two distinct aspects of a term. So they might be asked to state what is meant by the labour market. And then because it's a two mark question, they need to be thinking, right, OK, I need to really distinguish two separate aspects of this particular term in order to get the two marks. So I really would encourage you to encourage your students to ensure that they include two clear points within their answers. And just for your information, really, I've grabbed there some of the state questions from the 2019 papers. So state what is the difference between price and worth. So again, that's fairly clear probably to the candidate that they need two separate points for two distinct marks. But maybe the next one's not so clear, so state what is meant by the labour market. And again, do encourage your students to be giving two clear and distinct points on, on a question like that. The same with state as what, what is meant by price stability and, and probably an easier question, state what is meant by imports. But again, just that clarity with regard to two distinct points is really, really important. So I'm just going to show you now a couple of examples from uh, some, some papers which uh, I got from the board just to illustrate the point really. So state the difference between price and worth. Candidates find this a really challenging question actually. So this question, I'm not sure if you're looking maybe at the moment at my annotated copy or not, but you can have a look at that at your leisure, I guess. But this particular kind of, so this was one out of two. Price is set through the forces of supply and demand. And then they didn't really, didn't really nail it for the worth explanation. So one out of two, but they were on the right lines kind of distinguishing, right, I need to say something about price and worth individually. Uh, the next one says what what is meant by the labour market. So this is this is a good example of the two different aspects. Uh, so the candidates talked about where households supply their labour for one, and then where firms buy the labour for the other. So again, that's nicely split into the. the whoops. It's nicely split into the two sections for the two marks. Next question. Again, this is another good example of the two different aspects of so price stability and inflation, where an inflation rate of 2% is achieved, so one aspect. And then further along, they've talked about re will remain at a constant rise. Uh, not the best uh, grammar there, but we, we get the, the, the notion and it's worthy of two marks, that particular answer. And then finally, probably the easier of all of those questions, I would say, uh, state what is meant by imports. So a good or service purchased from a producer outside your country for one and then causing an inflow of money for the other mark. So again, that's a fairly straightforward kind of state with, with two easily identified components. So that's all I was going to really mention on that. Again, if you've any comments on the state or any questions, do drop them in the chat 